have already learned that verbs can be of two types. They can be finite and non-finite. Now, non-finite verbs do not portray any tense and do not change with the subject both in person and in number. Today, we will discuss non-finite verbs in little more detail. Let us look at this sentence. I like to drive. Now, in this sentence, there are two verbs. What are the verbs here? Like and to drive. Now, in this sentence, the verb like portrays a tense and it changes with the subject. So, for example, if we were to say, she likes to drive. So, we see that the verb likes and like are changing because they are agreeing with the subject and they are portraying a tense. But we see that to drive, the verb to drive does not change in both the sentences. So, we can say that like is a finite verb whereas to drive is a non-finite verb and how have we formed this non-finite verb? We have added to to the base verb drive. Now this non-finite verb has a special name. It is known as the infinitive. So what is an infinitive? An infinitive is a non-finite verb which shows an action and how do we form an infinitive? We add to to the base verb to form an infinitive. To drink milk is good for health. Now in this sentence, to drink is the infinitive and is is the finite verb here. Now we see that this infinitive takes an object, milk. So the verb to drink, which is an infinitive, takes an object milk. So we see that infinitives can take an object. But in sentences like this, I love to dance. We see that to dance is an infinitive which takes no object. And what is the finite verb in this sentence? Love is the finite verb. Do you want to eat a pizza? Now this sentence is an interrogative sentence where to eat is the infinitive and what are the finite verbs here? Do want is the finite verb here. So we see that infinitives can be used in interrogative sentences as well. The students want to have a free period. Now in this sentence, want is the finite verb and to have is the infinitive which has been formed by adding to to the base verb have. Sarah seems to be very mature. Now in this sentence seems is the finite verb and to be is the infinitive which has been formed by adding to to the base form of the be verb, be. Now that we know what are infinitives, let us do this exercise. Fill in the blank with an infinitive. The teacher agreed, dash, the student after school hours. And the base verb given to us is help. How do we form the infinitive? We add to to the base verb to form the infinitive? So the correct answer will be the teacher agreed to help the student after school hours. Now let us see this example. The project has to be submitted by Friday. Now this sentence is in the passive voice and in this sentence the word has is the finite verb. But what is the infinitive in this sentence? 
the infinitive is to be submitted. So we see that this is a special construction of the infinitive which is used in passive voices and how do we form this infinitive? We add to then be with the past participle to form the infinitive in the passive voice. Now let us do this exercise. Fill in the blank with an infinitive. The workers want dash for their services rendered and the verb given to us is pay. Now we know that to form an infinitive we add to to the base verb. So should it be to pay? Let us read this sentence carefully. The workers want dash for their services rendered. Who is doing the work here? Are the workers doing the work here? No. So this sentence is in the passive voice. So what is the infinitive that we use in the passive voice? We use to with be with the past participle form of the base verb. So what will be the correct answer here? The workers want to be paid for their services rendered. She wanted to quickly reach. Now in this sentence, to reach is the infinitive. But does this sentence sound correct to you? No, this is not the correct usage of the sentence. The correct usage is, she wanted to reach quickly. So remember that infinitives should not be split in the middle. So today we have learned about infinitives. We have seen that infinitives are non-finite verbs and we have seen their usage in various kinds of sentences. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.